Well, hello there again. <laughs> so, today, I'm excited. I have done two videos for you to enjoy. They've all gone up at completely random separate times because I like to break my videos up. But, I've been out and I have bought these two magnificent diaries with absolutely disgusting, boring inserts that me and you are going to change. It doesn't matter what brand of diary you buy, the inserts are just mind-numbingly boring. Let's really stick. That is white, not lilac. It does look quite lilacly on the screen, but no, it's white. Trust me, it's white. It's, it's goddamn awful. So, let's get cracking. Now, I bet you're thinking, she's going to bring out some lovely paper. You'll probably be able to tell by the title of what this video actually is. She's going to bring out some gorgeous paper. She's going to put some beautiful stickers and some gorgeous washi tape on it. And it's going to look amazing and transform. Well, the answer to your question is there. No. I am not. Because I'm not that creative. Believe it or not, I'm a very creative person. But when it comes to scrapbooking, I think that's what people call it. I don't really like that. I feel like it's... I love watching those videos. Don't get me wrong. Oh my God, I can watch them for hours. But... For me, I think they're a bit of a waste because I'm not that creative and nothing ever matches and yeah, just no. So, I am going to show you how you can take your personal planner, which you customise your inserts. Let me find your page. No, not that one. Where you customise your inserts. For a whole, this whole diary cost me £22.90. The inserts are stunning. I'm going to show you how stunning the inserts are. But I have... I have two. This is next year's. This is the current year. So, I'm going to show you how to take this and change it and put it into your A5 file effects if you get me. And I've already started because I'm at the... Basically, I'll just... I'll run through with you how you do it. I'm not going to do my 2016 one yet because I'm currently using it. But this is how we do it. So, you can take a couple of pages. I'm literally just making sure there's like nothing worthwhile for you to read. Okay, I'm just going to take two pages to show you guys. I'm going to turn it over. I'm then literally going to put my fingers here to give me something to lean against and I'm going to pull ever so slightly and then all I'm going to do is just pull the rings. Now the reason why I'm doing it this way and not just destroying the rings is because that's got the rest of the year in all nice and safe and I'm not going to lose it. So if I don't have to rush to get to it, it um, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's in a nice tidy packed away state. I actually messaged this company, I'm saying it here first, I messaged personalplanner.code dot co.com okay. dot com dot com, dot com. Mm. yes dot com i messaged them and i did say is there any chance you can i can order a diary and you don't punch holes and you don't put them in minus three but you send me all the paper and they said no heartbroken heartbroken was the word so i'm going to show you how because these do not fit okay um, to start off with, if you line it up to these, we'd probably have to punch a hole there and those two would be okay, but they're not lined up at the bottom at all. There's only one there and we'd have to re-punch it all. So I'm going to show you how to do the whole lot very simply, very easily, and then you can put it in your diaries. And for all you creative people that want beautiful coloured diaries, this is for you. So, you don't need everything that I'm about to show you, but what you are going to need is some glorious washi tape. So I'm actually going to take this washi tape for this one. Might not match, but the colour of the diaries, it will match. And this is what you're going to do. So, should we get it in order first? Yes, we should. Okay, you need some washi tape, some scissors. If you have a guillotine, a guillotine. If you don't, scissors will be perfectly fine for this. This is how you're going to do it. Okay, so line it up to whichever part you like. And run your finger down it. Slip. 
turn it over and do the exact same thing again. Okay, what I'm going to do is snip the two ends off. Turn that bad boy over. Okay, I'm just going to repress, make sure that all those little holes are sealed in. Put that over here, there, out of the way. Now then, if you have a guillotine, great. If you don't, don't worry too much. Just use some scissors and be extra, extra careful. And then make sure this is lined up. You just want to basically, oh, God, I moved it. That was stupid. God. Okay. What you're going to do is do that and it's not going to cut through. Oh my god. It's gonna be one of those videos. There you go. Okay. Pull it off. Get rid. And there you have it. So, this is my next cheat for you. I used to have... Ooh. I used to have a personal diary. So I have a personal hole punch. Personal hole punch is not going to quite cut it. So here is a trick. We you get anything, and when I say anything, I mean anything. Now these inserts are just slightly smaller, so I'm just going to line it up, drop it down, line it up, and I'm just going to place it down very gently. And then I'm going to take a sharpie, and all I'm going to do is dot, 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 dot. And here is a very good little trick that I learned for you. If you take the base off, this is actually the same width as your rings, but they're not far enough spaced. So, if you turn it around and then pop this in, line up your three holes, make sure it's in tight, make sure your holes are all in the centre, squeeze. And then the same thing again with the top. It is a bit of a pain, but it saves you 15, 20 quid on a new one. Line your holes up, make sure your paper's in. That is it. That, I do need to empty this diary, I know. Fits, perfect. How beautiful. So when you go to open up your diary now, that is what you're greeted with. That is beautiful, it is pretty, it is colourful. That is what I want, that is what I don't want. How gorgeous is that? And that, my dear lovely little friends, is how you turn a personal planner and change it and put it in to your actual diary. Now, I have done a few buy a few these are my inserts but uh, yeah my inserts by the way how gorgeous are they <laughs> they're beautiful i know and another quick tip i've got for you guys is this so on the fronts of these glorious planners i tried to stick with some motivational quotes or something nice so for instance be yourself because an original is worth more than a copy that's what i stuck with on my next year's, it says you are capable of amazing things. And the reason I know that is because I've took it and I've stuck it into here. It's nothing exciting. It's just, I thought it was so nice. So that as I flip over, it's there. Lazy Girls Planner. That's what they should be called, but I can't call it because I don't think anybody would find it. This is the Lazy Girls Guide to get in a beautiful customised planner. Diary, whatever one's call it. I know, right? It's absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I upload every Sunday and m every Thursday at the moment because I've got that many videos. But yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Take care. I will see you very, very soon. And bye-bye.